All right, it's Henry again, and I get asked all the time about the little clips that I use for painting my parts. Anybody who's watched one of my work in progress videos, uh, you'll see me painting, and, and I'll have my parts on little skewers with clips on them, and I get a lot of questions about where I buy those or how I make them. Well, uh, I don't buy them pre-made, I make them myself, and they're really, really cheap and really, really easy to make. So, I'm just going to do a quick little video showing you how to do it. Alright, these are alligator clips. I got these at the uh, hobby store. Actually, I got them at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them at, like, uh, Michael's or AC Moore or any kind of craft store like that. Maybe even go into the craft section of, like, Walmart or Target or something, and they may even have them there. I've also seen people get them from, like, the automotive uh, electronics section, like the little alligator clips used to like test batteries and stuff but I find the ones in the craft section are uh, a little bit cheaper and you can usually get more in a pack so these are the ones I use and we'll just open these up and these are two dollars per pack so you get twelve of them so I thought that was a pretty good deal and it's basically just a little metal alligator clip like this I'll open up and it's got a little kind of two little prongs down here that you'll be able to wrap around something and we're going to use those prongs to wrap around one of these skewers and go to any grocery store on planet earth and you'll probably be able to find bamboo skewers so I'll just open these up Oops. Take one out, and we won't be using the pointy end, we're going to be using this end. Move these out of the way. And basically, you'll just put it right there, and you got those two little prongs sticking out on either side. And then you'll just want to take a pair of pliers and squeeze those prongs together until they're firmly wrapped around the skewer and there you go that is all there is to it you're done now you have a nice little clip that you can use to hold your parts while you're spray painting them or airbrushing them or uh, even hand brushing and let, uh, usually what I do is I just have a big block of styrofoam and I just stick these clips in there and that's how I go about painting my kits. So I guess that about does it for this video and with that I'll see you guys next time.